Kevin Zip here and welcome to Cards and Tank Cards Overview. Is it finally the time for the first ever fully fledged card game for quest? I believe so, like you know, just putting the cards on the table and fighting with them. We're not counting the Dimias and stuff like that because it's not like a collectible based thing. So I guess this is the first. I know it's transitioning from side quest or app lab, though I never pulled the trigger to try it out, so today is the day. <laughs> so Cards and Tank Cards is a social collectible card game where you're set on a table in some random tavern, sit down with your beer and grab your deck to battle it out against the AI or the actual people. It's hard to tell why we've been so long waiting for a game like that on the official store. Maybe it's just that the genre itself is too niche for a lot of people to care. I definitely do because back in the day I was playing Magic the Gathering so I have some kind of experience first hand on it. I have no idea what's gonna be the mechanics and normally the whole video should take its place in the tutorial and just getting to know the things. So I'm really hoping the developers put a really big emphasis on just the learning. On paper the graphics seem average like just a common social game with some additional assets that aren't overly special but they are there and it's atmospheric enough to know what's going on. I do like the fact that you have like a physical figures on the table with casting spells that you can actually see. Like I like that the board comes alive. Like that's the point of VR for this specific case for me. I'm pretty sure it's all gonna go down to just getting to the mechanics and seeing the potential of it. There is a big one because there's none to compete currently with it. So like the slate is clean and feel free to experiment with it. I don't expect like overly complicated like rules but I feel like even the basic ones will suffice for now let's go play some cards I haven't seen you around my tavern before what should I call you adventurer um excuse me what I mean inappropriate you big what about this okay well this over is over that is actually <laughs> The first time I can't enter my surname, it, like, really bitch. <laughs> I guess Dave the P should pass. Did another adventurer tell you about us? Who cares? Those rules are meant to foster a safe space here in my Whatever. <laughs> All adventurers must adhere to them. Come over here to the table so I can assess your skill level. Safe space my ass. Alright, let's see what you can do against my friend Mulligan here. <laughs> Mulligan, <laughs> it's a term. <laughs> Looks like Mulligan started out strong by summoning a roaming goblin. That dedicated butler will definitely help protect you from Mulligan's attacks. He was sleeping, I noticed, and in uh, Magic the Gathering that's also a thing. When you deploy a creature, it's kind of like tapped, so it can't attack immediately. Any particular reason you aren't playing that card in your hand? I swear? One attack to defense. I'll be just looking at the mechanics and just see the interactions, because that's very important. Play the card in your hand before ending your turn. <laughs> Now end your turn by flipping the hourglass. And he's sleeping. As expected, Mulligan is attacking you with his roaming goblin. You should probably block it to protect your life total. Okay, so we can either block with creeps or take it in. So far it's a copy-paste. <laughs> bye bye roaming goblin. <laughs> It never stood a chance. Okay, and the health points kind of reduce. To progress, flip the hourglass. We have mana, which is kind of from Hearthstone stuff. Your eager farmer needs a turn before it can attack. But your dedicated butler is ready to battle. Right. 
we can push it. <laughs> Done all you can. Flip the hourglass. Oh, nothing you could have done to block that spell damage. No better way to fight fire than with fire. Can I see it like closely? Okay. You know, any creature that is not exhausted can currently attack. Right, sometimes you can forget. Ha! <laughs> Take that, Mulligan! <laughs> Looks like Mulligan is a bigger farmer of his own. <laughs> Get that eager farmer out of the way. Bye. Now, attack with everything you've got. I don't know why we can't like push everything at once. She says to grab it, but yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, I'll just grab it. You're destroying him. Keep going. Wow, you're kind of a natural at this. I think you can handle a battle with some more powerful cards. Access your deck by channeling your magic with the runestone on the table. Yeah, I mean, the mechanics are easy to understand specifically for me because I know this. Like, it's nothing revolutionary. <laughs> That deck box in front of you has a few new cards in it. Place it into the runestone to begin the next battle. Oh, looks like you're going first this time. Let's see if you can stay ahead of him. Ooh, that Orcish Explorer is a powerful card, but it costs too much mana for you to play right now. Oh hey, it's the dedicated butler again. Can I switch her off? Hmm? Mulligan must not have enough mana to play any cards. Or he's just keeping them for better occasion. Hmm. <laughs> Mulligan is completely defenseless? You should definitely attack. I wonder if there are like trap cards. Because this is the death. There's nothing more for now. You should flip the hourglass. Maybe here. Mulligan doesn't look too happy about that. <laughs> Oof, let Sobe doesn't have any more of those. I swear I've seen that card somewhere else before. It's a really good draw spell. It is just taking cards. Calm down. Not looking too good for old Mulligan, is it? Show him no mercy. Jesus. I think I actually saw Mulligan shed a tear. Arcane Current is very powerful. Your roaming goblin didn't stand a chance. If you keep up the pressure, this battle should be over soon. Yeah, I mean, there are certain tactics to certain cards. For some decks it works, and for some no. I also see we have like creature and the link. You've done all you can. Flip the hourglass. That was Mulligan's last straw. He looks really angry. Mulligan's or Alice Healer has a special ability, but the one life he gain won't be enough to save him. Ooh, looks like you have an Orala Sealer as well. But I don't need it. Don't put me in trouble. So this is just direct damage. I can't use it against the monsters. 
I mean, at this point, it's over, anyways. If you attack Mulligan with everything you've got, this battle is over. <laughs> Mulligan didn't stand a chance. <laughs> but to be fair, he has got straw for brains. All right. I think you're warmed up enough to take on a true challenger. Let's see how you fare against me. <laughs> Please. Don't think I'll go easy on you just because you're a customer. Roaming goblin, I choose you. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Ew. That sure is one dedicated butler. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> she's so... Mm. Do you ever wonder who trained these trade apprentices? Don't underestimate my roaming goblin. <laughs> There's nothing more for now. You should flip the hourglass. Was the blocking like my side turn or something like that? Because that could happen. It wasn't very clear though. Traders rarely have your best interests at art. So what's the catch? How do I activate it though? I guess whenever it's possible when he's not uh, sleeping? Doesn't seem like this pushing is the actual. You're gonna have to wait until the next turn when that creature is no longer exhausted. Mechanic to use, like. I almost forgot to activate my trade apprentice. Restless spirit ear is special. It can fly over most blockers. Your trade apprentice is useless if you forget to activate it. Okay, I get it. Ah, this is kind of OP, like he can't just stay on the battlefield. I don't really care for the spirit, honestly. I haven't seen a gate guardian since I went on that trip to Urenku. Just need a few more cards to finish this combo. Just you wait. Here's for direct damage, free of charge. Oh, and an attacker, just because. It's okay. Sometimes it's better to take the damage. Those pompous orcs, hardly deserving of the title of explorer. Well, <laughs> sacrifices must be made. I mean, that was a bad one. <laughs> Ready for this? Would you look at that. Boost to morale has my creatures all pumped up. Is this permanent though? That's the question. I think so. To progress, flip the hourglass. <laughs> I mean. Them 
that's not enough. The choosing of the cards isn't really precise. I would prefer like in Dimia style they kinda expand on top and you can easily grab one because I'm just searching with my fingers. Many farmers <laughs> traded in their sickles for spears with the promise of coins. I think it's over. Ow. Really? I always find flying creatures to be so difficult to deal with. Doesn't matter. You actually beat me! Bravo, adventurer! Alright. Time for one last battle. Start it when you're ready. One more? Oh my god. For this battle, I have enabled faction mechanics. Both you and I are using decks from the Plundering Guild faction. Every turn you will gain a coin similar to mana. But once you spend any coins, they are gone forever. You spend coins to enhance your cards, like this. Since I enhance Frontline Squire, its entrance ability buffed two of my cards instead of only one. Why don't you give it a try? I don't understand. Tap the card on coin. But I mean... Okay, so they have like an enhanced thing. I don't have the coins though. Oh no, here. Two random creatures. Yeah, but I will give her, no? I would not like to use it now. This needs like more reading, but um It's like it wants you to wait essentially. <laughs> I think I'll enhance this one. And I'll attack with this. Your move. <laughs> the truly talented pickpockets are the ones with both their hands. Oh, it's a random creature in your hand. It's pretty interesting deck, like I would need to read more definitely the cards. It's a lot, <laughs> definitely. I had a few more coins to enhance this one. Can I enhance them when they are on the table though? <laughs> I mean, it was kind of predictable. Uh, 
it <laughs> it's an actual thing like just being the mtg player back in the day i really need to have time to think but it's time to end anyways i think overall the tutorial explained well the mechanics it kind of went gradually like from pretty much easiest ever to like this now that i'm very curious about the cards and the combinations and just more complexity i feel like i would definitely play this more if it's against the players or just the ai because it's like a new set of cards universe essentially some things were not new like the turn order with the sleeping and then the mana and stuff now in this specific match it really got interesting because i didn't have like or experience an enhanced mechanic permanent by the faction i can just talk about stuff like that for hours but people that are into those kind of stuff know what i mean so like some stuff are fresh for me and kind of exciting to try that more it's free to play it has season passes like oh something's behind me i didn't even notice we have a hub which i didn't have time to explore i was just too invested in the thing milestones quests i guess maybe daily or whatever decks boosters rewards I think we're good here. <laughs> the graphics, while not groundbreaking, I think they give off a certain ambience that is saved and you don't really care about it. You just focus on the gameplay, essentially. I'll look more into it and maybe we'll do a video later on. It's hard to do with games like that because there has to be a good excuse or an update to essentially do it. So we'll see. But for me personally, I enjoyed this. <laughs>